Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies, and we tangent. Boom boom clap, boom de clap de clap, boom boom clap, boom de clap de clap. What's that from? Fuck if I know. I thought you just made it up. No, I definitely didn't. <laughs> boom boom clap. Oh, it's Hannah Montana. Okay, <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, that's is from why the Hannah Montana movie. I didn't know it, which I did see in theaters. <laughs> if you were asking, <laughs> I've never seen it. Wait a minute, weren't we like eighteen when mm-hmm. that came out? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I also saw the climb in theaters. Great. Uh, <laughs> great. And I would <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> when I was uh, a freshman in college, my mom literally was convinced that I was going out and getting drunk all the time and I was like, "Ask my roommate." I was in our bathroom video recording myself on my laptop <laughs> singing covers of the climb <laughs> or oh um Break even by the script, <laughs> or that it's a corner after one. <laughs> and I, need, I was so sad, dude. Was that so was sad. that was a good song, but that rips at my fucking I, shit. I literally recorded myself singing and sent it to one of our cousins that we literally never speak to. Really, <laughs> I did. <laughs> she, Why? I'm not sure. I think she said she liked my voice one time, and I was like, "Here it is again." Then. <laughs> I was 18 years old. The, You're the adult. <laughs> you can legally vote. I could. Uh, you could listen. defend our country. <laughs> the, you don't want me to. That's all I know. The just blind <laughs> confidence that I've had always. <laughs> you gotta hard. admire it. I you know. You gotta. I do. Okay. I don't understand it, but I do admire it. <laughs> I mean, I I am so embarrassed. You know, Trixie and Katya once said that if you don't look back at yourself and, and feel embarrassed, then you're not making enough progress. I love that. Me too. Fucking lovely saying because there's nothing. I'm embarrassed about what I did yesterday. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if I'm honest. I'm embarrassed that you guys heard me say that just a little bit ago. And I'm embarrassed that I'm, I would do it again. <laughs> if I, I had would. the chance. I feel like I know you um, would. Oh. What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. Hello. Yeah, we can't forget that. We forgot one time and it threw people into a tizzy. Did it? Well, one person reached okay. out. <laughs> and they were Sierra, devastated. Anytime Sierra says people, it's one. It's one person. One singular person. But to her, they're it, everyone. It really makes a <laughs> makes an impact. <laughs> yeah. Does that say birds aren't real? <laughs> it says words are hard. Oh, I have that cup too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was sent to us. <laughs> okay. I thought it was birds aren't real. I was no. like, why don't you get me one? You know I love that shit. You have a shirt that says it already. But yeah. speaking of shirts, Sierra's wearing our illiterate motherfucker shirt da, da, um, da, da, that is da, da, on da. our merch page New right now. merch. Chase said, he texted me. I woke up to a text from him at like two in the morning. And love he him. said that he was um, uh, a, a space cadet. Okay, yeah. And that he was it's flying high on our merch page. Just. <laughs> cracking up laughing awesome <laughs> yeah and i was like oh what is he looking at it's got to be the illiterate motherfucker it's got to be i don't know dick shick about, about dick shick about dick <laughs> i don't know dick about shit or yeah. shit about dick dick about shit okay because i almost wore that one yeah my son was like what's this and i was like fuck you can read give me that <laughs> <laughs> don't touch mommy's things <laughs> oh i have noah's shirt upstairs oh yay yeah he got a shirt. what did he get illiterate motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> no, we have um, babies and tangents uh, attire as well. Everyone keeps telling us to put a literate motherfucker and I don't know dick about shit on, on baby babies. clothes. <laughs> I do think that would so be very funny, funny. But I don't know. I just don't know if I could bite. Th- I don't know that I would feel right putting curse words on yeah, babies. Uh, like seeing, I would love to see it on my own child. But I think if someone else posted a picture, like I'm worried what their grandma would think of me. Right. Eh, fuck their grandma. <laughs> If I don't have one, I don't care about yours. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> um, yeah, that's. I just want to tell you that. Yeah, it's a really, it's very comfy. Oh, I think very he has comfy. a make your own pie shirt. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And then um, Alexis's kids clothes also came in. Oh, yeah. So, so we got to set up a shoot. Alexis, this is me inviting you to a shoot soon. <laughs> yeah. For all our kids and our babies and tangents clothes. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Do, 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 do. I think. Uh, unless you have more, that we should jump into this. You really want to jump in right now? I got to tell you. Okay. We got ladies, gentlemen, they's, he's, she's. <laughs> People of all ages. <laughs> Not all ages. People of 
ab- above 14. <laughs> 14? What do you think? Who listens to us? We've had 13-year-olds reach out to us. Yeah, but I also feel like we should say, like, it's oh, not for this for one, you. This is not for you. Don't listen. People of adult ages. Yeah. Download it and um, listen to it with one of your parents, at least. Agreed. What? <laughs> Listen with your grandma. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. You mustn't listen with an adult person. <laughs> I did forget what we were about to talk about. So hey, people- if you're a health teacher, play it play it for your students. <laughs> <laughs> Education. Um, the announcement I would like to make is we asked for horror stories and ho stories, yeah. dating of all kinds and things and shapes and such, and holy fucking fucking shit. If you guys like the scandals- you knocked it out of the fucking park. <laughs> I looked at day two. We had over a thousand. Oh, my over God. A thousand. And normally I can get through a couple, like a hundred or so, yeah. like on the scandals and pick some good ones. I I didn't make it to 50 because there are so many good ones. Well, welcome to our new. This is a series. <laughs> series. If you didn't hear yours, it's oh, because. Rare story. I got to 90. I got to five out of 95% of them. I didn't even get to read. Because I was like, I can't skip over this. This is so fucking funny and good. And like, I I just want to tell the story. We want to hear scandals. We want to hear these stories. We want to hear these stories. And we say ho stories. And and you deliver. (laughs) People are like, I've been waiting. You've never delivered harder. I think I saw someone who was like, this is my time to shine. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I love this for our audience. A big majority of people started like this. (laughs) And and they were right. Mm. And so I'm very excited. Couple disclaimers. Um, if you're here to be slut shamey, get, how about you turn this the fuck off right now? We're <laughs> yeah. not doing that. So turn it off. Um, this isn't for you. This isn't for you. And also the thing that I wanted to say about slut shaminess and thinking that like people should, uh, when you tell people or like you kind of shame them about having safe consensual sex, then that lets other people tell them that like they can't do what they want to do with their bodies yeah, yeah, and yeah. then that allows other people to start making laws on their bodies and quote unquote punishing them yep. for their actions and that's right. where we're in the shit storm that we're in today so yeah. don't fucking do that um if it makes you uncomfortable you don't have to listen this isn't for you then and i will say that i was someone who was raised like in purity culture and also i was just it's a like, hard thing to unlearn well and, and it's also i was just terribly unfortunate looking so (laughs) there was no there was not a chance for me to have a hoe face okay if i wasn't getting it from jesus i wasn't gonna get it from anybody okay so i am so fascinated i know that i have had to do a lot of internal work and unlearning yeah because there's times where you'll tell me about things either in your life or like friends or whatever (laughs) and my face takes a shape that's like shock and horror because i'm like what in the world i truly feel like there was a i was in a bubble to be fair i do sometimes tell stories to try to get that reaction (laughs) people i'm not gonna lie i I, lived my life to get those reactions i think i lived in a bubble yeah i was very very sheltered from a lot of things so like my first experience is that i'm i'm not desensitized to a lot of stuff uh-huh. so that this is me saying that if you wrote in a story that you thought was kind of like eh, or if you hear a story that in comparison to maybe something you've experienced is like eh, and i freak the fuck out it's because yeah of my just n- nothing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no my negative hoe life it's okay that's what we're here for. Because I love telling stories. My favorite is telling <gasps> I stories. I do have a whole story that I was going to tell you. Oh, amazing. What I was going to say is my favorite is when I was single to tell all my married friends like you or like mm-hmm. the people who didn't get to experience them and see their face and their reaction. And now I'm that person because I've been, yes. I've been you know, tied down. <laughs> I'm out of the game for I've a while. I've never seen Sierra be as monogamous as she is. It's phenomenal. Ever in my life. I didn't know it was possible. It turns out I just have to love somebody, <laughs> which I didn't before. Yeah. But like, yeah, I truly have. This is the longest I've gone without sleeping with multiple people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is. That's true facts. Okay. So I could think of one ho story mm-hmm. for myself. I mean, I'm sure I have others, but like this one, this one sticks out to me. I love it. I'm going to sprinkle mine throughout these stories. Yes. Go on. So when I went on my senior trip, mm-hmm. okay, 
I don't remember if I was 17 or 18. I want to say I was probably 17. Yeah. And it was me and three people that we graduated with. We drove to Myrtle Beach. Uh-huh. Okay. One of the days we were down there, we were at the boardwalk and these guys drove by and yelled their number to us. <gasps> and so then we start texting them. Oh my okay. God. And they invite us over. Right. So and me, being young and stupid, mm-hmm. me and one of the other girls drove to meet them. Yeah. Did uh, they live near? <laughs> No. Did they live in the same state that we were in? No. (laughs) We crossed state lines to go and meet these guys. (gasps) Oh, my God. So while we're there, we get separated. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm with. You're alone. Yeah. I'm with with these people you don't know. Uh Uh-huh. They could be killers. The guy I was with, his name was Cleveland. What? (laughs) It was. I think I remember this. It was. And he was like, this is where I'm going to college. I'm playing this for this football team. His name was Cleveland and he didn't live in Ohio. It's <laughs> confusing. He's not a city. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got confused. <laughs> so I was in Cleveland. I'm, I remember I was on the beach with him and another guy and that guy was doing cartwheels. And then Cleveland was like, do you want to go over here? And so then I'm sitting in Cleveland's <laughs> truck with him. Oh my God. And we make out. Okay. Okay. Sure. And then I'm like, I think, I think you should take me back to my friend. Because at this point, I'm like, we're I'm separated. alone with a person I don't really know. And I wasn't even concerned about me. I wasn't concerned about her. I was like, I can take Cleveland. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I know he's going to be like a linebacker for like a college football team, but that's fine. <laughs> and but so I got this. I asked him to take me to where she was. Uh-huh. And then they took our keys. <gasps> and they wouldn't give them back to us. Um, I know. I know. And so anyway... Eventually, they did give them back. Well, I would hope so. Uh, and we got back to the hotel, and everything was fine. And then mm-hmm. I'm at Kent, and I see that the college that Cleveland <gasps> plays for is going to be playing Kent at Kent. Oh, my God. So I message him, and I'm like, hey, hey. you're going to be in Kent. <laughs> What's good with your baby? <laughs> he doesn't respond. <gasps> I know. And you want to know why he didn't respond? Because you stopped making out with him? Because he's a junior in high school. (laughs) (laughs) He lied. He lied to me. And so then I'm sitting there in my college dorm being like, I made out. I made out with a junior. (laughs) And it was the summer before his junior year. (laughs) It's a sophomore. Yes. Oh, he probably just got his license. Oh my god! Yeah, mortified. That's absolutely mortified. I think I'm still Facebook friends with him. <laughs> we gotta creep after this. I'll de- I'll show you. Okay, I can't wait. Everyone post floods. it. Yeah, <laughs> you can all follow yeah. him. Go ahead. All right, all right, all right. Also, if you're a, a member of my family and you're like going to be like squeamy about me telling host stories. Again, just fucking shut this off. Like, oh, yeah, like you don't have any. Yeah, and grow up because, again, we're all adults here, and I was an adult for the majority of these <laughs> stories. No, I think I was for most of them. I think I'm aware of most of your host stories, so mm-hmm. don't think I won't out you as well. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Okay. I'm going to start you off with this story, and so you can just see what the what the t- tone is for what oh, we're about to get God. into. I've like... Giddy. Are you ready? Uh Uh-huh. Hey, ladies. I hope y'all enjoy my infamous vibrator story. Pronouns are she, they. This guy and I were getting hot and heavy. He found my bullet vibrator. So that's the tiny guy that just goes on the outside of the the, the bean there. (laughs) Okay. Just in case people didn't know. Yeah. He found my bullet vibrator and we decided to use it. Everything was great. He flipped me over and started hitting it from behind. He took my vibrator and started rubbing it on my boo-boo hole. (laughs) (laughs) Is that your butt? (laughs) Okay. In my head, I was thinking, this is a little odd, but whatever floats his boat. Oh, no. I felt the vibration get deeper and (gasps) thought to myself again, damn, what's this guy doing? (laughs) And then it dawned on me. I turned around and asked, did you just lose that vibrator in my ass? <laughs> he said, yeah. I I tried grabbing it, but it just keeps getting deeper. 
<laughs> in total panic, I pushed him off and squatted on the floor. <laughs> I pushed and old trusty flew out my butt and started vibrating across the floor. Oh my god. We broke out into laughter, but safe to say we didn't finish what we started. Oh my god. You gotta sanitize that. <laughs> yeah. And your boo boo hole. <laughs> yeah, you don't put that in the boo boo hole. I saw boo boo hole and I saved it before I read anything else. It's like this better be a good story because Oh my God. Yeah. Speaking of good stories, okay. remind me I have one that was in our emails that I want uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my TikTok that I wanna read. So maybe towards the end or something. Mm -hmm. But just remind me that that's where that is so that I don't forget. It definitely won't, but okay. I forgot to save it on here because it was in our emails. Okay, great. <laughs> you won't? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I, I don't want to. No, you'll just, just forget. Because, yeah. Okay, here we go. Story number two. Oh <laughs> I'm just very aware of how quiet it got down here. I there was know. Like a you know what that's called? It's what? called the noise floor. What's the noise floor? The noise floor, like that humming, the noise floor was up here, but yeah. then the humming stopped. So the the quietness, like the white noise yeah. dropped. It's like when a fan shuts off. I hate it. Mm -hmm. For some reason, that it's gives eerie. me anxiety. Can I tell you also why? I'm used to getting my power shut off a lot, oh. and I sleep with my fan on, and that was like the number one way I would get woken up, and it would be like, hmm. And you're like, <gasps> and I'd be like, son of a bitch. <laughs> First of the month. <laughs> God damn it. Again? And then I'd be naked running downstairs because I yeah. sleep naked and I, I'm trying to catch the guy. Speaking of. Because if you catch him before and you tell him, hey, hey, I'm and just. show him your boobs. I'm just, well, sometimes. <laughs> this is the whole story. <laughs> That's how I got my electric on. I'd be like, hey, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. Um, If I can just, will you turn it on? And then and he'd be like, oh, sweetie, I don't know. But sometimes he would turn it back on. And then he'd be like. It's not the only thing that's being turned Turn on. on. <laughs> <laughs> and he like we shot a porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been sleeping naked. Is it not the most comfortable? I have thing? been. Th today is the first day I've worn underwear in days. Yeah, let me tell you. Once mm -hmm. you do, after you're free of not, yeah. it feels like what's well, on my body. For Get some it off. reason, it felt my. It felt hot. And yeah, I was like, I gotta. I gotta let this breathe. Air a this bit, out. Because <laughs> it feels a little bulbous, even. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm fine. I've been, I've, I know my body. Don't diagnose me. I'm okay. It feels bulbous. <laughs> it did. It felt Dare bulbous. Dare I say bulbous? <laughs> and you know what? It was probably from us getting in that hot tub when it was green. Mm. <laughs> Guess who didn't put any chemicals in the hot tub or have it like any, it, it? Me, it was me. Listen, and we then, got it. And Jerry's like, "Hey, you want to feel the bubbles on this thing? It's amazing." I swear to God, and she turns it on. It smelled. It was <laughs> like we were in sewer. It was like we were in a porta john. And I just like <laughs> hit the Immediately button. Immediately shut them off. Brought the fumes to the top. Anyway, okay. Uh, we sat in it for an hour more. We did. <laughs> We were like, this smell will go away. We didn't give a fuck. Okay. And then boom, bulbous vagina. <laughs> <laughs> boom, old bulby. <laughs> All right. Um, one morning, I, she, her, 19 years old, woke up after a wild night and jokingly, jokingly said to my friend, who did I fuck last night? She oh, looked no. at me wide eyed and serious and said, the rodeo clown. <laughs> What the fuck? Sure enough, she had walked in on my drunken freak show with a rodeo clown. A rodeo clown? A rodeo clown. She says, never again. That was oh. just a short one, but I well, liked part it. Part of me is like, why did I get concerned? What? Like when, she, when, what were the pronouns that they gave? She. Me? Okay. When she said that, uh, who did I fuck last night? Yeah. Like that, did you know? Yeah, I know. That's concerning. That is concerning. Yes. But did the rodeo clown know? Was the rodeo clown still there? I don't know. Do I guess not. She like looks next to her. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, like, oh my God, it is a rodeo clown. His face is painted. <laughs> so is hers. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a balloon strap on. <laughs> <laughs> honk, honk. Come she on. She gets up and there's one of those flowers like attached to her and it just. <laughs> on her nipple. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. Okay. <clears throat> this one's just a cutesy. I like this story. So. She, they pronouns. I, I got a lot of a mix. I got some silly ones and then I okay. got some ooh good ones and then I got some horror ones for real. So we, I got a, a whole. Okay. Like I said, I couldn't. There were so. A little bit of a buffet. Many good ones. I probably have 25 stories here. Oh my God. And I know. And like, we're not going to read all of them, you but I wish not. we would. <laughs> okay, here we go. She, they pronouns to get that out of the way. 
Um, you can oh, you can also edit this to make it easier to read. Don't worry, you did fine. <laughs> my ADHD makes my storytelling not so great. Again, welcome to the club. <laughs> anyway, my host story begins in a small podunk town that I had just moved to immediately after high school. Very conservative, not a lot of gays. And <laughs> they said, I'm part of the alphabet people, specifically the L in the LGBTQIA. <laughs> but I digress. I moved to this town to pursue a farming job. That's very L and L. Like I want this story. I'm going to I would like to write a novel about. But anyways, <laughs> to pursue a farming job that was offered to me through a family friend. The literal second I met the farmer I was supposed to be working for. I knew I was going to like the job. I shook his hand and behind him sat the most beautiful woman I had ever laid my eyes on. His wife. <gasps> Now, I knew boundaries, so I kept my fantasies to myself and just got to know her as a friend. About three weeks into the job, I learned that they are newly separated and just continuing to work together slash live together because it's a small town and they have a kid, so it's just easier that way. I learned they don't share a bedroom and haven't for about two years. On this specific day, I wasn't doing my normal farming duties because I switched on and off days with my coworker but still wanted to stick around and hang out. I'm getting turned on. Well, I know. That's why I added this one. I'm like, damn, this is hot. Where did I stick around, you ask? None other than the passenger seat of the truck that the farmer's wife was driving. <gasps> To this make, is a country song. I, this, oh my God. <laughs> I'm saying, to make this painfully long story short, I wish you wouldn't have more details are needed. We ended up secretly sleeping together <gasps> for the next year and a half, and it was the most exhilarating thing I have ever experienced. Ah, uh, fuck the farmer's <laughs> wife. <laughs> oh my God. Please. Ride the chicks her. could make that song. <laughs> In the passenger seat, mm. and he doesn't know. Keep going. But I got down low, <laughs> cause I fucked the farmer's <laughs> wife. Oh my god, that's amazing. Sorry, that's not my best songwriting. This <laughs> <laughs> is what you get. He rides a tractor, I ride her. <laughs> <laughs> that's so oh. good. Okay, <laughs> she, her. 23 years old. Apparently, this is a common thing to happen. Sorry, my voice is doing that fucking thing. <laughs> the frog voice. <laughs> uh, but I may as well share my recent experience with you guys. So, I'm bi and got my heart completely shattered by a woman, as one does. Mm. So, I decided it was time for a ho girl summer, which has inevitably turned into me fucking one guy that I'm not even that attracted to. <laughs> We've all been there. That's how that goes. Anyway, one day we're in the middle of it, and he stops and says the condom fell off. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. right. He starts to look around, and we realize it's inside of no, me. No, 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 no. Okay, no big deal. I'm just going to get up and go to the bathroom and retrieve it, right? Wrong. This man takes the initiative to put his whole hand <gasps> up inside of me <gasps> to take it out. At this point, I'd known this man for one week. <gasps> Men are so weird. <laughs> And now here I am, weeks later, sitting at work with a hickey on my neck by the same man, oh, no. because apparently we're teenagers again. Anyways, I would love to go back to women, but I will almost definitely catch feelings, and my heart is still shattered. Thanks for reading, Kate. Bye. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I have a story. Part of me wonders, like, did he go up there? I have two stories. In a sexual way, or no? Like fishing. I bet she just wasn't paying attention, and they were like, burp. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have a story. I think you've heard about this one, but it's one of my favorites. Okay. Of all time. Actually, this person to this day still tells this story as well. <laughs> so it's a good one. Okay. So I was newly seeing this man. Okay. And again, we were safe sex. So condoms were there and that's all yeah. good. And it Not was on, but they were there. <laughs> <laughs> I had them on the bedside. I like to look at them so it feels better. <laughs> Yeah. I feel safer. Yeah. No, it was odd. It's like having a spare tire. <laughs> I just like to know what's around in case of emergency. <laughs> yeah. It's like a fire extinguisher. <laughs> just keep it on keep them under the sink. <laughs> Sorry. So it's on. He's he's doing the old walk in the dog, you know? He's behind. Mm. I'm the dog. I have never heard him <laughs> referred to as walking the dog. I know. It was dog. Walking the dog sounds weirder. <laughs> Doing it as if we were canines. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
and hound hound style, if you will. Yeah, <laughs> style. <laughs> puppy play time. <laughs> <laughs> so he finishes. Right. I'm like, great. Also, that's a very vulnerable position to be in, anyways. And all the lights were on. Where did he finish? Inside of the condo, <laughs> okay, <laughs> which was inside of me, okay. And so, you ever had someone finish on your back, houndy style? <laughs> Yeah, like, again. Hey, why? I have those back dimples where my tail was. <laughs> and it, it just fills it like yeah, a pool. <laughs> quite literally, there's so many other places to go. Yeah. Honestly, do it on the sheet. I'd rather <laughs> wash them than have to sit there in like a plank position like, and wait for you to wipe my back. <laughs> so uncomfortable. But, but okay, so there's condoms. So we're fine. It's all yeah. good. But he goes to pull out again i'm in a very vulnerable position i can feel that when he does it doesn't <laughs> and so to me the most embarrassing thing in the world he is that he's gonna because he's looking for a towel is that he's gonna turn around and it's just gonna be like flopped out of my virginia which is, is not more embarrassing that it came off accordion style yeah well both are embarrassing so i'm like okay I'm just going to roll over like I'm going to get a towel. Oh, my God. That is like a confidence boost for you, though. Like, how tight are you? Exactly. <laughs> I'm so tight. My tight little kitty. <laughs> Rip that condom right off. <laughs> I ripped it straight off. I ripped the condom <laughs> off her. <laughs> Sorry. So, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to turn around real quick. As I turn around, I'm going to just pull and then get it out of me. Right? <laughs> and try to help. You're a bit, bit of a tuck and roll situation. <laughs> yes. Which I did. Off the bed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so then he turned around. He hears boom, boom, boom. <laughs> my head smacks the wall. Now my feet are up in the air, spread eagle. And it's still just. <laughs> 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 so it could not be a worse looking thing. But he laughed. I laughed. He pulled it out of me and <laughs> slingshot like a rubber band. <laughs> oh, no. And then we both just laughed. We're like, I dated him for like a year and a half. Oh my god! We laughed so hard after that. It was a great time. Oh my god! Story that's that amazing. I, mm-hmm. I fucked the bars. <laughs> <laughs> we got any songwriters out there? <laughs> you gotta do it. Bing, ding, 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 ding. That's my finger on her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. I'm really just I, that painted such a clear picture for me that I, I feel like it needs. A, That's why a I said song. a novel. I want to write that. I want to yeah. write that. Okay. D- okay. Let me <laughs> do it. I don't I care. Will. Can I write the soundtrack? Yes. <laughs> when it becomes a movie, I want Miley Cyrus to play both lesbians. It's the Clint <laughs> instead of the Clint. Yes. Okay. Okay, this one isn't about me being a hoe, but it is a short horror story about a boy I dated. Hi, I'm Erin, she, her, and my manipulative summer fling, who I only dated for about four months, tried to take me to court after we broke up. For what, you might ask? He was seeking compensation for the emotional damage I had caused him by breaking up with him. He sent me all of the invoices and documents he got from the lawyer's office. It was a wild ride, but he had no grounds for court, obviously. I like to imagine the lawyer laughing and telling him to grow up. It was quite the ego boost, honestly. I'm a little offended no one else wanted to take me to court after breaking up with me. (laughs) I'm quite a catch. Thanks for all you do to bring sunshine and love to our community. Stay golden. (laughs) Oh, what that's the most unhinged shit i've ever heard right i'm gonna fucking sue you i'm gonna sue you for damages because you broke my fucking heart linda i'll dare you oh wait it's aaron (laughs) i just want to dare you aaron and aaron's like i fucked the farmer's (laughs) wife (laughs) yes and he's like i'm suing her as well (laughs) i'm gonna take all i'm taking the farm (laughs) all right all right all right (laughs) business all business no No pleasure pleasure. (laughs) this is pleasure town (laughs) ladies and pleasure oh my goodness (laughs) (laughs) i'm in a silly mood we had coffee instead of you've had half a coffee i've had not even but this is my uppers instead of my usual downers and it's making me i'm like talking at it what the fuck are we gonna do after this it is nine (laughs) o'clock i don't know good fucking question we gotta wake up early you remember? You're coming with me. Hmm? 
We're going tomorrow morning. Early. I thought it was Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. I fucking know. <gasps> Guys, guess what? I, I got a venue, potentially. And we're going to go look at it. Yay! Yay! So thank you, everybody, who sent me your suggestions. I used none of them. <laughs> But I did appreciate it. Yeah. But the, somebody called me back that I had called before. And so we're going to go look at that. Yeah. 8.30. 8.30 in the morning? I we think have to be we'll, there at 8.30? We'll, we'll leave. No, we have to be oh, there at 9. sweet Caroline. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> it's catchy. It's so it's good. It's catchy. It's so good. Okay. This one is one of my favorites. <laughs> okay. Because I feel like I would have had... I would have slept with it, dude. That okay. Hey, ladies, I've been listening to the podcast for almost a year now, and I recommend your podcast to anyone and everyone. Mm-hmm. I know. Thank you so much. Thank you. My hey, pro- you guys have no idea how helpful word of mouth is. Oh my god, seriously, put your mouth on the, the farmer's, farmer's wife. <laughs> No, but seriously, use your mouth and tell people about us. <laughs> yeah. Spread the word like a Jehovah's Witness if you <laughs> Are we allowed to say that? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, go door to door. Go door to door and tell people about yeah. our host. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My pronouns are she, her, and you can call me Dub. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness always makes me laugh. I know. <laughs> okay. If I'm, I'm calling this person Dove. Dub. Dub. Dub? I think like W. Hell yeah. Maybe. It's D-U-B. Okay. If I'm being honest, I have a lot of host stories to chew f- choose from. To chew on. <laughs> <laughs> chew on this host story. <laughs> but I chose this specific one to hopefully make you guys piss yourselves. It did. For me. There was a guy I matched with on Tinder and he came over and we got busy, if you know what I mean. We do. We ended up on the floor somehow and he was, to put it plainly, hitting it from behind, and he noticed my pet's cage off to the side. He whispered in my ear, what's in the cage? (laughs) And I came back with my hamster. And then he said, how does it feel to know your hamster's watching you get fucked? (laughs) Long story short, I never invited him back. If you guys read this on the pod, I quite literally will shit my pants. <laughs> Love you both. I'm gonna need proof of the quite literally. <laughs> yep, shitted pants. Show us your shit pants. Th- I literally. <laughs> I think about that all the time. How do you feel, dude? When my dogs are in the yes. room, sometimes they'll start licking my feet. I'm like, don't get involved. <laughs> this is Mosey this- <laughs> knows. Like, I don't know how he knows. I think he picks up on the energy, and he will get up <laughs> off of the bed and go to the floor. He's like, Birdie not picked up on the energy she she's like what are you guys doing what are you doing what's that sound and she's like i want to i want to lick something too and i'm like birdie get out get out don't be here right now i can't have you here yeah because i gotta be in the right headspace no seriously that's my dogs (laughs) Corey will be like go put the dogs in the kitchen we have to like barricade them in the kitchen because if not they'll like (laughs) time because Winston, my one dog, Winston. Yeah. I don't talk about my dogs a lot, but you guys, they're here. They're here in spirit. She does have two dogs. Yeah. And then um, they're both the same kind of dog. And both of them are very, but Winston more so than Frankie is very anxious and uh-huh. like super loyal and just very protective of yeah. us, but a lot of like mostly Corey. And so. Like when it's going on, and I'll be like on top. Winston will get really close to Corey and just like whine, <laughs> look at him with like puppy dog ears, and be like, "What's you wrong, okay? Daddy? <laughs> you okay? You okay? What's, what's she doing?" And Corey's like, "You gotta get this dog. <laughs> you gotta, I can't do this." One time, Shane and I were going to Pleasure Town, and <laughs> Birdie. I don't know if anyone else's dogs do this, but definitely Mosby's done it. And Louie's done it, and now Birdie does it. She literally came up to the pillow next to us yep. and started digging. Yeah. <laughs> she was just trying to dig a hole That's next to the mattress. <laughs> so we're literally trying to be intimate, like freaking slow kissing. I think we had Silk Sheets playlist on. And then Birdie's like, <laughs> <laughs> just next to our head. <laughs> yep. Frankie's done that. Absolutely. He's like, it, or he'll. So the other thing that they do is she looks at you like, do you mind? Yeah. Can you, can I finish making my bed here? (laughs) My God. The other thing that my dog will do, both of them, 
is they like to get under the covers. So they'll do this thing where they put their nose up and then like flip the covers. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so they're just like doing that while we're trying. I'm like, get get out. (laughs) Yes. God. No fucking respect. None. Okay. Okay. First off, hey, ladies. I love y'all. This is a very long one, but I promise it's worth it. I wouldn't lie to you. For reference, to make the story make sense, my pronouns are she, her, and I am 20 years old. Last fall, I started my first year at a big university after transferring from a smaller college and was newly single for the first time in four years, so one could say I was ready to have some fun. Hell yeah. Picture this. I'm newly single and scrolling through Tinder throughout. I fucking am a little sad that during my whole phase, Tinder wasn't Tinder wasn't a thing. It makes me a little sad. I don't know if I could do it. I know. I would be so self-conscious, especially because I saw I think I told it the story the one time where like there was a DJ who was it was either the DJ or the videographer who sat next to me with his Tinder Mm, up mm -hmm. and was like swiping on people. Yeah. I would feel so insecure because I already like think very poorly about my physical appearance. Right. And that's all you get. Right. But I kind of love that because it's like, if you're not going to immediately be attracted to me, I definitely don't want you to try to talk but to I me. But I wouldn't believe them. Yeah, that's true. I had people come up. To, no shit. I had people come up to me at Lighthouse. There was like a under like a youth dance club where we were <laughs> run by a church. Yeah. So do with that what you But will. also it was just a bunch of middle schoolers grinding on each other. Yeah. So and that there was, was pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you had to sign in and sign out when, and then your parents I would pick you up I did just go there for the pizza I am right? that pizza's they so would, good they would get it at the end of, and I would be like I'm just here for the fucking pizza <laughs> stop trying to dance with me so I had someone come up and say like hey this guy really wants to dance with you and I was like really <laughs> really and they're like yeah and I <gasps> thought well he doesn't go to our school so maybe he doesn't know that no one likes me <laughs> it turns out it was a joke. I uh, yep. like literally laughed in my face. And that happened another time too That's where someone was so like. so many times to me. Um, so-and-so wants to ask you to a dance. And I was like, well, he can ask me. Yeah. And then again, laughed in my face. Uh-huh. And I'm like, why the fuck would I ever ask you to a dance? And I was like, I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going to go die now, if I guess. You, if you guys have uh, f- memories like that, especially if you're our age, watch Pen15 because mm-hmm. that fucking part where the, yep. that happens gave me like PTSD because I had like blocked all of those out. And then yeah. when I was watching that happen, I was like, oh, God, that I hurts. I will oh, never, God, never forget the two guys that did that to me. Yeah. I see them now and I'm like, I hope yeah, fuck you, you feel pain. Someone sometimes. who did that to me tried to sleep with me then afterwards mm. and he was married and I didn't tell his wife, Gross. but I fucking should have. I should have. I didn't do it. I should have told his wife he was trying. Okay, where are we at right now? Tinder. Tinder. Okay. Tingers. I'm scrolling with my tingers. <laughs> okay, Tinder. You guys know what tingers are? <laughs> toe fingers. Toe fingers. My sister has some great ones. I'll have her show you sometime. <laughs> no, free, no free feet. No free feet. You have to pay for, to see her tingers. <laughs> So I was scrolling through Tinder throughout the summer, trying to match with any hotties who are also attending my school in the fall, trying to fill the roster, if you will. I match with this guy and we start to Snapchat and we Snapchat every day for almost two months and talk about finally getting to see each other once school starts back. And we're both living in the same city and not a couple hours apart. Fast forward. It's the first week of school and I'm all moved into my apartment. So my eagerness gets the best of me. And I ask the guy if he want to maybe get dinner or even just go get coffee one day. He insists he is busy every day during the week but could come to my house at like 10 p.m to hang out mm-hmm. uh-huh mind you i've never met this fella in person and maybe don't let strange men into your home without meeting them first i do not take my own advice and i say that'll be great <laughs> and i wait for later that night when he's gonna come over i need to explain that i figured something spicy would happen between us seeing Between us, seeing as I met this man on Tinder, but boy was I surprised to find out what was going to actually happen. He gets to my apartment around 10 p.m. and we go into my bedroom to hang out because my roommate was home and honestly, I didn't want to have to introduce them introduce them when I was meeting him for the first time. Uh, I forgot about that. Imagine she's just like, um, hey, this is, sorry, what's your name? (laughs) No, just like brings him in and he's like, oh, no, no, no. I can't sit on couches after 10 p.m. You must take me into your bedroom. (laughs) Like you just have a weird stipulations. Yeah. (laughs) The lighting out here, it's too much. It hurts my eyes. I've got a migraine. Please take me into your dark bedroom. (laughs) Yeah. And suck the migraine out of me. (laughs) (laughs) Through my cock. (laughs) 
I hate the word cock. <laughs> Me too. As soon as you said it, I was like, <laughs> Okay. Well, I felt like this no, person he wouldn't say said co- No, he would say, he would say cock. <laughs> he would say cock. I'd say pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> I would say wiener. <laughs> Suck my honey through my pee-pee. Suck <laughs> my migraine out my wean dog. <laughs> So we go into my bedroom and do what I do on every first hangout. I put on Twilight New Moon on the TV <laughs> and I force him to watch it. Hell yeah. It's a really specific thing that's very funny to me. We don't talk much, which I think is strange considering we've never hung out before and I'm trying to ask him questions to get to know him better. He's like, I came here for the movie. We stopped talking. <laughs> I fucking love this. I've never seen this one. I'm Team Edward. <laughs> She's like, I'm Team Jacob. Get out. And he's like, shut up, Loka. <laughs> um, I'm trying to ask him questions to get to know him to get to know him better, and he acts like he couldn't care less to answer them. In the midst of me asking this man questions like, how many siblings do you have? What's your favorite color? What's your Are you security number? <laughs> Are you a criminal? <laughs> That's what they wrote. You know the basics. He springs towards me and starts making out with me hard. First of all, that is so annoying. You know that happened to me once. I was going to say that I feel like I do know that. I was. It's happened to all of us. I was in high school. Stop fucking doing that. I was in high school and I went over to help my on again, off again boyfriend's friend with math homework. Oh, yeah. And I, we finished doing the math homework and he starts making out with me (laughs) and then he pulls away and he goes, I'm going to take your pants off now. No. And I, and I said, <laughs> no, you're not. no, you're not. I'm, I'm leaving. And then I got up and left. Good for you. And I was like, hey, you going to tell your buddy slash my boyfriend that you just <gasps> fucking did that or no? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. I haven't kissed a stranger in years, so I think maybe this is how strangers kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're making out and he begins to choke me. Believe me, I'm always down for some consensual BDSM, but he was choking me hard and I did not know this man. I decide to try to make the most of it and I keep kissing him, ignoring the gigantic red flag <laughs> waving in my face. Things progress and he starts to take my shirt and bra off and I'm like, okay, let's see where this goes. This man starts kissing my chest and I'm like, okay, this is nice. And then I'm not even shitting you. This man bites my nipples. <gasps> He's not nibbling. He full on munches down on it. Oh my God, this is so sad. And I'm sorry I'm laughing, but it's awful. I immediately say, okay, um, I don't think I want to do anything else and run to my my bathroom to call my roommate and say I got to get this man out of the house immediately. After about 20 minutes of hiding in my bathroom and hoping he just thinks I'm taking a massive poop, I walk back into my room and say, "Hey, I'm really tired. I'm probably going to get some sleep." <laughs> that old trick. I walk him to the door of the apartment so I can make sure I lock it behind him. Isn't that so frustrating that you, you can't have just walk to walk in and be like, "Um, hey, you're fucking weird, weird. and a little bit much." Could no, you because leave? at this point you're scared for your life that's yes. the thing too hey men that are listening i know that sometimes this happens but it happens a lot for women um mm-hmm. it's very like if you're the type of guy that's like well you were being you were giving him mixed signals we have to sometimes be nice because we are literally afraid of getting murdered right it's called fawning yeah yeah so and i and especially here i would be like i don't know what to do because you're yeah. you've already basically assaulted me right um okay I walk him to the door to the door of the apartment so I can make sure I lock it behind him. And as I'm going to shut the door, he grabs my face and makes out with me and basically slobbers all over my mouth because I don't know if you've ever gotten a surprise tongue in, but he didn't aim very well and basically just licked me around my mouth. Was he a dog? <laughs> Was this a golden retriever? You invited a Labrador to your house oh and you bit your nipples and licked your face. <laughs> so bad. I joked you with his paws. Yeah. Sorry, I just picked him up. Anyways, he left after that, and I blocked him on everything and never saw him again. Very long story short, do not let random men in your home, and definitely do not let them near your nipples, especially if they look hungry. (laughs) Sorry. I didn't read the end of that. I tell you. So. Are you going to tell them? What? The poop (laughs) slapping. No, because I don't remember. I don't remember. I, That's I one of slept, my favorite stories. I slept with this guy and, and uh, I, twice. <laughs> and Sierra remembers what happened. She goes, she told me about it. And I was just like, um, what? 
It was like the one and only time I've ever cheated on a guy. Oh, and so that's like, why you don't remember. I blocked it out because I felt like I was a horrible, horrible person for yeah. doing it. But you were also cheating on the person who consistently cheated on <laughs> you. Yeah. Like, well, and I broke up with him the next day and told him to his face that I did it. Yeah. So you're not a bad person. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, I don't remember that. I guess he hit my boobs. He slapped their titties around. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a freaking pinata. <laughs> honestly, I feel very guilty for saying this, but I doubt he listens. He's married, so someone's enjoying it. But someone's getting those titties happens. <laughs> but like, I didn't even. I'm not body shaming, but I genuinely didn't even know we were having sex. Oh my god, no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, there was, I guess, the boob slap, and then it was just done. <laughs> the boob slap heard around the world. <laughs> yeah, but no. And then it was done. <laughs> That's how he signed off. <laughs> Good job. Uh, he was high fiving them. <laughs> no, what I was going to tell you is my roommates in college. Oh, Mario Kart, Erica, you'll have to tell me if I'm allowed to keep this in. <laughs> invited someone over and she was like, he has two friends. So they're coming over. And I said, you're inviting three strangers to our house that you met online. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, that's a terrible idea. Why would you do that? I do not want this to happen. And so they come over. <laughs> We we play like a drinking game uh-huh. and one somehow we end up slow dancing. I'm dating Shane at the time, so I'm oh. mortified. You're that- slow dancing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Shane, I've never told you this, so if you're listening, <laughs> I'll tell you uh, about it after. But I was slow dancing with this guy, just like, you know, like middle school slow dancing. Right. Erica's slow dancing with the one guy. Okay. Jess is being held like a baby. <laughs> By another guy. <laughs> and he's just like rocking her back and forth. Okay. That got me. So I'm like, this is, this is too much. And yeah. at that point in time, I didn't feel comfortable because I could tell that the one guy liked me. And I was like, mm. I have a boyfriend. Yeah. I'm please don't cradle me like a baby. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> don't want to be cradled. <laughs> so my room was in the attic. Uh huh. This guy was trying to come into my room. Okay. And in my house, it was like, you could go from the kitchen to the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. It was like a circle. Uh-huh. And then the stairs were like in the center. So I had to do a couple laps <gasps> to lose him. And then I went up the stairs and I locked my door. This man pounded on my door and was shaking it. Absolutely I not. I had to call my friend there and was like, hey, I don't know if I'm safe <gasps> with this person in the house. He's acting a goddamn fool. Oh. And then... And then it ended up being fine. I think he slept on the couch. Uh, but I do remember having a nightmare that night that he got up. Yeah, that's absolutely fucking terrifying. So they leave the next morning. And I look at Erica and I'm like, don't you ever fucking do that again? No, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then they forgot their wallet. So he had to come <gasps> back. And I literally had to look at this man and hand him his wallet. And he he apologized for being a fucking idiot. But well, ugh. yeah. No. Yeah. There are some things I'm happy I missed out on college wise. <laughs> There's so Those many things, things that happen where I'm like, how? Wh- I'm so college stupid. Men, I'm happy I missed out on the majority of them because, yeah. Yikes. I don't so much have host stories as I do just like Horror. stupid encounters. Yeah. Well, when you're young, and that's the thing, like we can tell these now and learn from them. That's yeah. why we're telling them is so that people hopefully learn from it. We're definitely not glamorizing those. That's yes, why I say correct. safe, consensual, like... When I mean, I don't mean just safe sex, I guess, in condoms. I mean, like, don't go to a stranger's house if you've never met them before. Don't Meet invite them. them to your home. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Um, This one reminds me of the story I told earlier, but it's better. So, okay, I submitted this to a different form, but it fits better here. There I was, 2018, my freshman and only year of college. I feel you. <laughs> I was making my way around town, if you know what I mean. (laughs) I had met a guy at a frat party and we hit it off. He gave me a Keystone Light. (laughs) We went back to my dorm. Oh my God, I just realized that was a drink. Yeah. I was like, Keystone. What's that? What's a Keystone Light? I was like, well, Pennsylvania is a Keystone State. Was it like a flashlight? Was it a a souvenir? (laughs) Got it. I'm stupid. Keystone Light. It's like a... It's like Natty Light, right? Like Bush? Yeah, yeah. Not good. It's very college drink. Yeah. We went back to my dorm and decided to make the... Be- <laughs> we went back to my dorm and decided to make the beast with two backs. <laughs> that is hilarious. What? I'm assuming doggy style because of my <laughs> <laughs> Oh that my 
is God. hilarious. Now, I love we're... that all of these stories have happened in doggy style. No one's telling yeah. the story. He's like, so there we are in missionary. So there we are, fully clothed except his peeners. <laughs> now. Very so there we are dry humping. <laughs> um, now, we were both pretty slosh. Don't worry. It was fully consensual. Thank you for that. And my dorm bed was lofted almost five feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the act, I rolled over and proceeded to roll right off my bed. (laughs) (laughs) I grabbed the lamp on the way down and burned the shit out of my hand, bruised my butt on the side table, and somehow landed butt naked sitting upright in the chair I used to climb (laughs) into my bed. (laughs) That's impressive. So impressive. The guy was super nice and we laughed about it. We even hooked up a couple more times before I accidentally broke his heart. <laughs> My beep. Well, they say it's lame. My beep. Person. Person. <laughs> Love you, ladies, and hope you enjoyed this story. <laughs> oh my god! I, if I was that guy, I would like give you a gymnastics st- score. Yeah, for, like, landing on the chair. <laughs> ten out of ten. Hell yeah! Perfect score. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to be an accident. <laughs> but what? That's a perfect score. I. That's the perfect guy. <laughs> Did you watch my son's Marco Polo to you? No. Okay, we had, he followed me. Yeah, we had a very funny encounter earlier today. Okay. I made him laugh so he cried. I didn't really mean to, but yeah, he'll say things um, <laughs> that are like memes. So I did something to him, and he like pret- he was like ah, pretended to like whatever, uh-huh. and then he said dies cutely. But like I didn't know that's what he was saying. So I said, "What did you say?" And he said it again. I was like, "What?" And he said, and "I said, oh, I thought you said that's cute, <laughs> that's cute, or something like that. that's cute." And he laughed so hard he cried. And then we just kept saying it. You'll you'll see because he okay. tells you the story. But anyways, um, I had a story that just reminded me. I don't know how this got here i think it was like talking about your kid and it just reminded me of childhood and yesterday (laughs) we went to my parents yeah my cousin lives next door to my parents and she has a trampoline oh yeah shane big trampoline guy okay loves a trampoline is that your toe it is (laughs) okay (laughs) sorry um he used to jump on the trampoline as a kid and trampolines scare the fuck out of me he was living his best life. He's like, you want to see daddy do a flip? And so he's flipping. Oh, my God. I do this thing where I get underneath the trampoline and I put my feet up and I launch my kids from underneath. Great. <laughs> well, I'm down there and he goes, you know what I used to do? <laughs> you know what I used to do in the winter? And I'm like, what? And he goes, I used to get a uh, snowboard uh-huh. and I get on here and I do a 360. And he jumped and he spun and almost shattered my leg. <laughs> Oh my god! Almost shattered Jesus. my leg. I was like, "Please, please don't jump on me anymore." <laughs> Why would you're getting this? too silly? Oh, because you were down there push. Oh my yes. god, that's horrifying! You're yeah. getting too silly. <laughs> you to stop being so silly, okay? Stop being. You almost broke my leg. <laughs> you almost broke mommy's limbs. <laughs> yes. And he's like, "Well, don't be underneath the fucking trampoline, you idiot." <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I know. Okay, here's the next story. So I was young and stupid and was going to meet a guy from Tinder. Uh-huh. Very big theme. Yep. Uh, I don't know how I didn't get murdered. And it started out so good. We went for a walk in his campus and saw the lake. And then we went back to his dorm. And I noticed he didn't have any bed sheets, but he had ordered us sandwiches. And we watched a movie. Honestly, I would have thought nothing of it. I know. I was like, I've dated this man. Yep. <laughs> I dated a guy for months. I was months this man. D- <laughs> I was going to say same. I am this man. I slept on a futon for like nine months and yeah. I had a baby at that point, like a child. So mm-hmm. I was just like living my best futon life. Um, okay. Shane and I had sex for the first time on a futon. They don't have a lot of give. I'll tell you that. It's hard to fuck on a futon. <laughs> it is hard to Not fuck a lot on a of bounce. <laughs> nope. If you're on top, you're doing a lot of work. I never am. Well, I am quite frequently. <laughs> Just lay there and just enjoy my time. Well, isn't that nice for you? <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. Um, the movie was coming to an end and I still had half a sandwich. I was trying to save it for later. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns to me, looks me dead in the eyes and said, can you hurry up and finish that so we can have sex? <laughs> I was taken aback, but then was full of anger. So when he went to the bathroom, I took mine and his sandwiches and the comfy sweatshirt he had sitting in his nightstand, and away I went. 
I never ran downstairs so fast. I love you guys so much and would die if you read this on the podcast. I love you. Oh my Megan. God, that sounds exhilarating. <laughs> I, know. I love that. Also, why did he want you to finish the sandwich? Yeah. Why did you need to, I want my women to have full bellies before this, <laughs> they don't come. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Oh my God. It wasn't even like, hey, are you going to finish that? It's like, I need you to finish, finish that it so we can fuck before I finish you. <laughs> Like, no. What? Ew. What kind of sandwich was it? I know. <laughs> right back and let us know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Two more. Here we go. And don't worry. We do want to make this a series. Yo, so yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll we're, have more. We're going to have much more. And if you want to um, put yours in, you put it on our link tree, right? It's in our link tree. Yeah. So go ahead and check out our link tree. You'll find or it. Or if there. you're on Patreon, uh, there's a post about it there. And if you're in the. Fan Facebook Fang, group, yeah, the Facebook group. You can there just, as well. I think you can go and there's like a little magnifying looking glass. Yeah, you you click that, you can search it and just search up post yeah. story. But it is super easy to just go to our link tree, which you can find on our TikTok or our Instagram. Yeah, or just our in website. our bios. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. The time my cat scared the naked football player. <laughs> she heard what a title, and then no names involved. Okay, I respect that. <laughs> Hi, ladies. So my sophomore year of college, I had been single for a long time, not ready for a relationship, but ready for some D. <laughs> Being very cliche. Oh, like a C is coming and mm. I want to just pop right in the farmer's wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Being very, very cliche, I was super excited when I matched and started talking to one of the football players. Aww. We start talking about hooking up and making plans for him to come over the next day after a Zoom football meeting thingy. It turns out he's 17. <laughs> He's 15 and he's a sophomore in high school. No. <laughs> the next day it comes. I'm thinking he's going to cancel. He keeps saying the football thing is going to go long. He suggested he could leave the Zoom running on his phone in the living room. <laughs> she says, heck to the no. Then his roommate was parked behind him. Finally, he comes over and was completely across town. So this was another 20 to 30 minutes. He had a nice member, but the sex was subpar at best. Almost came in the pre-sex BJ and had talked up his tongue game. And he almost skipped over that part entirely, which <gasps> is a shocker. If they talk about yeah. how good they are, they probably are going to do it minimal five seconds and yep. focus on the whole and not the part that matters. <laughs> If I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like he's trying to get the last bit out of a pudding cup. <laughs> Those little scoops of ice cream that's got the chocolate on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, bleh. <laughs> trying to lick the inside of a ketchup packet. <laughs> The entire interaction was less time than the drive over. He then lays on my bed for an uncomfortable amount of time, completely naked without a blanket. Just soft thang thang and <laughs> not like cuddling either, just shoulder to shoulder in a double bed. I'm trying to figure out how to get him to leave when my cat comes to the rescue. He didn't know I had a cat, apparently. <laughs> I've never seen a man grab his jump junk and jump up faster than when my eight pound three legged torty baby jumps by his <laughs> feet. A fucking three legged cat jumps up by you. Saves the day. Yes. This is a three hundred pound built football player. <laughs> I thought it was the cat and I was like my god that is scary (laughs) holy shit (laughs) fucking Clifford the big red cat (laughs) my god oh my god Clifford Clifford (laughs) the big red cat (laughs) kitty (laughs) that's my porno (laughs) Clifford big red (laughs) Clifford the big red kitty (laughs) (laughs) welcome Clifford the big red kitty to the stage (laughs) he starts yelling about how he hates cats and telling me that he was attacked by a cat in the shower as a child (laughs) in the shower (laughs) that's a lot of unpacking what was that cat doing in the shower (laughs) why were you showering with a cat you weirdo I think he was still zipping up his pants on the way out because he left so fast. My baby got a lot of extra pets and treats that night she has never cock blocked me but she really helped me out that night Anyways, live your best hoe life, but probably don't hook up with selfish football players just to have your cat scare them naked and then have to watch them play football all season. <laughs> Love you, ladies. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, God, that's funny. Phenomenal. Okay, now, a 
Ho story meat cute to end it on. Meat cute? You know what a meat cute is? No. Okay, so they call meat cutes as like in a movie when the thing that happens where two people meet and it's like, oh my God, a cute little story. It's called a meat cute. Since when? You've never heard of a meat cute? I'm going to look it up a for you. A meat cute? That's <laughs> a what? Meat cube. <laughs> <laughs> the cube of meat. You never had a meat cube before. <laughs> it's, they they got those little, it's little bags of ham. <laughs> meat cube. Okay, look. In film and television, a meat cube is a scene in which two people who will form a future romantic couple meet for the first time, typically under unusual, humorous, or cute circumstances. This type of scene is a staple of romantic comedies, though it can also occur occur <laughs> occur in sitcoms and even soap operas. It means it occur in soap operas <laughs> and <laughs> time out. It's in oh, Wikipedia. It. Meet cute. Like Stop I meet you. Diddling your piddle. <laughs> I am itching a mosquito bite. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that is a big daddy. Well, Look you at are it. probably allergic. Holy shit, balls. You can't see it at all. But no. I can be <laughs> It's the whole leg. Oh my god. Okay, we're uh, putting in a patio out back and mm -hmm. we just dug out where we want to put stuff. Yes. And Shane was using a tiller to like get the... Oh, we had the tillers. <laughs> We had the Timmers. <laughs> no, um, comment below if you know what that's from. Yeah, um, it's a little. That's a little inside fucking thingy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you decided to add that sentence. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're podcasters. This is what I do. <laughs> Ollie kept calling it a patiller, <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, Dad, you gonna keep using the patiller? <laughs> hey, we why we put the patiller away? You done using the patiller?" And I was like, "Why did you add a p to the front of that? I don't understand." <laughs> anyway, it come from. It's spelled M E E T. Like we meet each other and it's cute. So it's called a meet cute. I think that's stupid. Okay, well, whatever. It's, it's a fucking thing. In I think film. it should be called serendipity. What? You've never heard of serendipity? Yeah, no, I know. But this is, this is a. Oh, <laughs> my God. It is literally an upcoming romantic comedy. It's called Meet Cute. So it's a movie. It's about to be, yeah, probably. Anyways, Meet Cute Host Story. That's Stupid. where we're at. That's what we're doing. The Who story titled isn't... it you? You did? I said it. This oh. says, Ho story, how I met my husband. And you think it's cute? No, you'll see. <laughs> you think it's a meat cute? I you just think, think it's, it's cute ham. Oh, my, I'm so sick of you right <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, my God. Where's the three-legged cat <laughs> when you need it? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I, I'm gonna fucking kill this <laughs> mosquito bite. Look at it. The mosquito works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I knew it. <laughs> ah, fuck the farmer's <laughs> wife. The and got skeeters all <laughs> on my Clifford. <laughs> no. I got a skeeter on my Peter. Flick it <laughs> <laughs> guys ever sing that <laughs> okay here we go hey ladies i have to fart <laughs> it's gonna come out okay <laughs> i couldn't stop it that's I fine i just needed you to know before you felt it <laughs> okay i didn't feel it okay. oh you didn't hear it it was no. like Fum. oh my god i farted the other day <laughs> my sister looked at me and she goes no underwear on huh <laughs> I was like how could you tell <laughs> they sound different they do yeah okay 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 Got put onto your podcast by my younger sister. Would shout her out, but would really rather not have her know this is me until maybe a later in life drunk combo. I don't know, but I feel better about telling her that, hey, remember that Ladies and Tangents host story? That was me Aww. when I'm ready. Anywho, I dated this absolute trash bag. <laughs> not my husband. Same. <laughs> my senior year of high school. Same. I was, yeah, I was very head over heels for him and he was in love with his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Same. Same. We've both been there. And I was insecure, so I said, that's fine. <laughs> and I took him back every time he wanted casual sex or cigarette money. <laughs> I feel like we both live this life. Yeah. Being young and dumb and insecure is real fun. Uh, then the upside down smiley face, which I can't translate yep. over this. So that's... So we dated on and off for a couple of months and graduated high school, broke up, and he invited me to a yurt party at his sister's yurt that he was house-sitting for. Okay. Which I was just told is like a, te a tent. Yes. Um, kind of thing. It's like a structural tent. Yes. 
I thought we would get back together, so I went. I tell my mom that I'm staying the night at my friend's house. My mom believes me. Sorry, mom. And my girl, we'll call her A, drops me off at the party. I tried to convince her to stay with me, but she didn't want to drink and smoke green and cigs in a yurt in the woods with no plumbing, unlike some people, me. So I went alone. Hell yeah. I walk up to the yurt, and I mean walk up a freaking mile and a half long uphill driveway in the rain. In the woods, in sandals, a bitch was feeling fancy and not at all concerned with weather or location if the outfit looked fly. I finally get to the yurt and there's trash bag puking on his shoes from already being wildly drunk. Amazing. It was 4 p.m. <gasps> mm-hmm. This, again, sounds yep. like people that we've dated. Yep. Oof. He casually tells me not to step where I'm stepping because he threw up there several minutes ago. Cool, cool, cool. He goes into the yurt to lay down for a bit and I chat with his best friend. Let's call him B. B is also very drunk, but he is super funny and made me laugh a lot in the past. And B is finding beers and old cookies to share with me. So I'm like, all right, this isn't so bad. About an hour passes and B and I have found Trash Bag's brother-in-law's old fancy whiskey that he got from his dad and saves for special occasions. Mm. Something you ought not be slurping on. <laughs> but we were already <laughs> drunk and Trash Bag was sleeping. So we took some swigs. Dick move. And honestly, I'm so sorry about it now. B and I are having a great time. Trash Bag wakes up and realizes his two other friends, P and Z, are here and they're at the end of the very long driveway, so he goes to get them. B and I are trashed, so we decide to stay behind. It takes a good 30 minutes to walk to the to walk the driveway either direction. So it's so like it's an hour. Full ass hour wait for someone to walk down and back. This is where the hoe shit kicks in. <laughs> B and I are watching the hit motion picture role models <laughs> and I complain about my very damp and very cold sandal feet. So oh he offers no. me a foot rub. I am down as fuck. Best foot rub of my entire life. Then I am. And my- I've been getting them for years. Yes. Since. <laughs> oh, it gets good. Then I in my drunken state think out loud. How mad do you think trash bag would be if we fooled around? I was a vengeful bitch at the time. My heart got stomped on several times over. Sue me. I don't. I don't. I love this yep, for you. I though. don't. Like, he had it coming. Yep. B thought this was a great idea. And so we got to foolin. Started in the outdoor newly built outhouse, which I peed in and found out later that it was not in fact finished. So, <laughs> so I peed into what was going to become the outhouse <laughs> toilet. And also started fooling around in there, which yeah. is concerning. <laughs> Again, so beyond sorry to the owners of that fine yurt. (laughs) And then we got cold and went back inside to the nice warm yurt. Fast forward, I am on my knees doing a little suck action. (laughs) Making complete eye contact with B. I know. That is big clit (laughs) energy. It is. Damn. When he looks at the door to make direct eye contact with (gasps) trash bag. Oh, no. Trash bag walks in, grins, and says, I shit you not. I told you she was good, right? B and I panic. He leaves. I sob. And trash bag kissed me on the mouth after. (laughs) That sounds like trash bag. Yep. (laughs) That's some trash bag shit. I realize this is very strange and to this day makes me laugh a little. Trash bag had taken his ex to my senior prom when I'd already bought my dress to go with him. So he deserved a couple jabs to the heart bone and a suck your best friend's dick kiss on the lips. (laughs) (laughs) Trash bag passes out. Which you just saw. Yeah. (laughs) So he knows. Yeah. Trash bag passes out again. I fall asleep and then I wake up. to a call from my mom who is furious and has realized that I am not in fact at A's house. She picked me up. Trash bag was furious with me for telling her where I was. Mad at my mom for telling his mom about I the party. I love he's mad that your mom knew where you were and not, not that about you the were sucking. sucking off his best friend. <laughs> right. um, and most especially mad at me for getting down with B. Okay, okay, wait, okay so okay. he was. He immediately forgave B. Of course. Yeah. Of course. It's never the guy's fault. Oh, my God. B and I got to talking after the party and ended up in a friends with Benny situation. No feelings attached until I was about to leave for college. And we both confessed that feelings absolutely got caught. Mm. We have now been together happily for eight years and married for five. He is the love of my life and makes me laugh every single day. The very reason I fell in love with him. I'm not proud of most of that night. I still jokingly tell B that I'm mad he left that night without me, but I am so glad I wore those sandals. I still get damn good foot rubs often. And as unconventional as our story is, I'm really happy with where it ended up. That's my host story. Still have no clue 
where I'm going, what I'm going to tell my kids someday when they ask how we met. I'll probably just say we met at a party. Just Cheers. say you had a meat cute. Yeah. <laughs> say you had a bit of a meat cute. A meat cute. A meat mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Put his meat in my mouth. It was cute. <laughs> Cheers to you, ladies. Thank you for making me laugh out loud and for talking about literally anything and everything. L. P.S. My mom made me t- apologize to A for bringing her into the situation, to which A replied, Nah, bitch, you hoed it up. I'm not mad. She's a real one. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what? A wins. Yep. <laughs> that's, Damn. I really wanted to tell that story. Oh, that's so good. So good. Wow. Thank you, guys. Yeah. That was amazing. Incredible. And like I said, that, that was half of what I have saved. And I have not even gone through a tenth of yeah. the freaking ones that we have. I so. love that. I love that. I'm, there's so many things I'm happy that we've had the opportunity to normalize. And yes. this is one that we haven't really like touched on as yeah, much. Like, like a little bit. But yeah. But being two people level. who are in committed relationships, yes. it's hard to be able to. We can tell about our past. But like, yeah. I like that we are able to. Because like I said, I wish the world would normalize this. Because you know what? They fucking do for men. Yes. They absolutely do for men. Men can talk yep. about this shit and laugh about straight. it. And Cis, straight. Yes. Yes. Men. Yes. And normally white men. Yeah. And nobody bats an eye. But Uh when anyone else tries, they cringe or Mm -hmm. any kind of... They attach negative labels to it, stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck that shit. We're taking it back. We're Everybody's allowed to do whatever the fuck you want with your own bodies. Have a good time. Be safe about it. Please learn from these stories. Safe with your body. Safe with your mind. Safe with your heart. Yeah. Um, I do have one other thing that is a total pivot from this that I wanted to share, but Mosby's on my phone. I got to get it. Hold on. So you guys know that our DMs are like a hot mess, Mm -hmm. but I did, I was kind of perusing them and we have a message in here, um, from Chiquita Patterson and the, um, I don't know what their pronouns are. I'm going to just say her. She's a female presenting, so I'm assuming I'm this is just an assumption. Um, but she reached out to us. Uh, her Instagram handle is United Street Tours, mm-hmm. and she is hosting a free virtual anti racism workshop, um, <gasps> called Doing the Work. So, oh, I love if that. you guys go to her Instagram, um, you can find all of the information um we're going to be sharing the link as well on our stories uh a few times just in case you miss it whenever and depending on when you listen to this episode um but it's july 28th at 7 p.m central okay so that is 6 p.m for us pacific okay and 8 p.m for us east coast got it so yeah we'll post the full link and yeah it's live streaming it's free um so if you were i'm gonna try and hang out i I was gonna mention it to you this is the first i'm telling sierra so (laughs) we'll hang out (laughs) but absolutely um, i will yeah i think that it's amazing yeah um and she's obviously taken so much fucking time to put this together and for her to reach out to us and you know it's an honor honestly to give this so the recognition that it deserves yeah i'm so thankful you were able to see that because yes. like you said it is like very uh, our inboxes are full yeah full so that's amazing and stuff like that being able to amplify it and share it with you guys because i very know there's important. so many people that want access to things like that i just um, don't know where to look like yes. where to find it yeah so um like i said we'll post that or you can go to united street tours and follow her and uh find the link in her bio as well so yes I know that was a total, total pivot. <laughs> no, but thank <laughs> but you. But I for wanted that. to mention it because I wanted to say it as many times before the 28th as possible. Yes. Love it. I feel like I'm buzzing right now. I did not need that extra that shot. Coffee. <laughs> I did not need a venti and I didn't need an extra shot. Time is it? Cool. 10 30. Love this for us. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> I'll just pull an all-nighter and go directly to your <laughs> venue I tomorrow. You're going to be like, I need you with a notepad, asking all the questions that need to I be will. asked. I guess 
Do you I want don't me know to? shit about yeah. I don't okay, know shit okay. about weddings. I I, I was thinking about it, and I was panicking that I was gonna like steamroll you. No, please do. Okay. Um, I I want to get like a folder. I want to try to be like okay. and put all of the information that we have. Print out. We get a three ring binder. Yes. <laughs> yes. Labels. Labels. Yeah, we love I'm, a trapper keeper. I'm probably not going to do this, but I'm gonna try. I okay. really am. Okay. Because I want to. And if we fail, you know what? Who gives a fuck? Familiar with that feeling? Yep. Okay. <laughs> sure is. Uh, hey, thanks for your host stories, guys. Those were amazing. If you're upset that yours didn't get read, hey, just fucking wait, because yeah, I, yeah. mm-hmm. I bet it will. I bet it will. We're going to keep on going. So yeah. um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we love you so much. Mm-hmm. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. Goodbye.